Welcome back to another grocery haul for this week. This is our last grocery haul before we move into our new house. Ali's a bit tired. I said I'd step up. She handed me the camera, more than happy, uh, and she's let me run with it for tonight. So we'll go through uh, what we've got for this week, and uh, as we move forward, there's a bit of everything, and there's some absolute cracking treats I'll uh, talk about towards the end of the uh, video. We've done a, a bit of a bulk cook-up this week, along with the specials that uh, Woolworth is offering. So, as always, uh, let's start up in the top left-hand side, which we always do, and we've got our three litres of milk. Uh, we've also got three loaves of bread this week. Um, I think there uh, may be a little bit of a special on there as well. Anyway, moving down, we've got some muffins. Uh, Ali's decided we're going to have uh, little pizzas this week, so she's got the, uh, the English muffins. Um, better for the kids to, to make and a little bit easier to handle. Now, she's ordered some uh, Greek yogurt or some natural yogurt there. Um, price per gram, and we've ended up with two kilos of it. Um, so we're going to be eating yogurt for quite some time. Sliding down, we've got the uh, shortcut bacon, which, as you know, if you're a regular of the channel, we've been having our big brekkie cook-ups. They're still going on, have throttled them back a little bit just to probably save a couple of bucks, but also a little bit less work for Dad in the morning. We've got some mushrooms there um, to go with that. Sliding to the right, we've got some capsicum. Ali's doing a pasta bake this week requiring, you guessed it, some capsicum. So um, I think it was cheaper to buy in a bit of an odd bunch uh, package, so we'll see what we can find in there. I don't know if you go and have a look at the odd bunch at Woolworths, they're generally at the end of the fruit aisles, apples, pears, sometimes mandarines, avocados. Probably steer clear of the avocados at times. They can be a bit secondhand by the time they get onto the odd bunch shelf. Uh, sliding up, we've got the two minute noodles. Bit of a staple. Look, I know it's not great. We know it's not great, but they're always handy to have um, for a quick snack. Chuck some veggies in it, chuck some tuna in it, try and make something. Uh, with those to the right there, self-raising flour. I think Ali uh, attempted to get the two kilo bag. They've substituted with the kilo bags. Six or one half dozen of the other, really. Uh, moving to the right, the Smart Veta Pasta Spirals. As you know, we're still on the gestational diabetes adventure, um, and that continues with a bit of Smart Pasta. Um, this is something a bit different for us. I think we're making our debut with the rustic vegetable and bean soup. Uh, preservative and additive free uh, was word on the street, so um, we're going to give that a little bit of a, a try as well. Come down this way, onions. Onions have been dear and they have been the size of basketballs. Um, so it's nice to get some onions that are uh, a reasonable size um, just to be able to cook with. It just makes it easier, I suppose. I know it's a bit nitpicky. Um, the Vita Wheat. As you know, if you are a regular, um, we love our Vita Wheat here. Low GI as well, um, and we can pop some avocado on. Vegemite, and our favourite, of course, is cheese, which for the uh, train spotters out there, we actually don't have any cheese this week, which is uh, which is a bit of an odd one for us. Anyway, um, we'll see how we go. Um, we've got some mild salsa there. That's going to go with the pizzas um, later in the week as we uh, as we get towards probably the the end of next week or or mid midweek. Um, eggs, bit of a funny story with the eggs. We have cornered the market. I think we've got 30 eggs. Uh, Ali put through an order, would have been a little last week or the week before, looking for eggs. She put down she'd like the 30. Um, they delivered us nothing. So this week she attempted again with the 30 and then also with another 12. So hedged her bets a little bit there. And we've ended up with 30. I think uh, they decided we're probably getting a bit greedy. Uh, and they've, um, I think, refunded us. Sliding down, the kids, chocolate coated ice cream. They're the Woolies ones. I think they work out to be 30 cents each. Not a great deal of nutrition in there, but the kids love them and it's a bit of fun, particularly for the weekends. Um, we've got some chicken there that comes in at $10 a kilo, which is, uh, which is not too bad, considering it can, can fluctuate if it's available at all. A um, bit of John West tuna, um, that always goes well. A um, little bit of sweet chilli, add it to your rice, like uh, if you're a viewer, um, I do for my lunches. Teriyaki stir fry and an all-natural stroganoff. So we're looking for some uh, preservative and additive-free sort of add-in sauces 
um, at the moment. Now, as you can see, look at what we got here. You guessed it, a little bit more yogurt um, to go with our two litres. Um, so these were 50% off. Um, the kids love these ones. They're relatively good for you, I, th I believe. And um, they're great for, for lunches, quick snack in the afternoon. And I think they've got a relatively good use-by date on them. So a quick count there, two, four, six, eight. we've probably got about 10. Um, so we've got 10 of the yogurts. Um, Packet and pears, probably the favourite. We've tried a few odd bunches, can be a bit hit and miss, and we've tried some of the other brands as well um, of pear or, or, or varieties, I should say. Uh, they've been okay, but the Pacan pear here gets a run. Um, the Posada, just a basic tomato sauce, um, nothing else. It's just the uh, uh, the sauce puree. Um, great for, for pasta, which we eat a little bit of here, and we like this brand. I think it's additive and preservative free as well as best as you can get. And then because we like that uh, particular brand, Ali decided we'd give this one a little bit of a go, um, which is a stir through sauce, uh, pesto style. So something a little bit different there. And once again, we're moving house. We're trying to clear out the cupboard. We don't want too much hanging around. And if we do want a meal, we want it to be pretty quick and easy. So that's, that's, that's with that. Um, mandarines goes without saying, they're in season, they're tasty, they're delicious. Kids love them. We, um, we go through them. Uh, quite quickly here and the kids can go and grab one from the fruit bowl um, Sliding on down. We've got some trick and drumsticks. We do a bit of a drumstick recipe um, It's pretty simple drumsticks and, and veggies with a little bit of sauce um, and uh, enjoyed by all uh, Moving forward. We've got a little bit more uh, tuna just the tuna in the spring water better that we find it a little bit better than the oil some more pesto there uh, Legos pesto uh, basil um, which is a pretty versatile pesto um, which you can have as a snack or, or, or through some pasta as well um, which is delicious a bit of butter there we've been doing a little bit of baking of late um, banana bread's been getting a little bit of a run Ali's done some Anzac slice which has been delicious um, and we've all been enjoying that sliding over this way um, the winter mixed veggies always a staple in the freezer it can't go wrong add to anything side dish happy days uh, the Australian broccoli um, once again, add it to your dishes, add it to the side, and it goes um, it goes really well. So uh, today's grocery haul was a little bit dearer than normal. We went $198.80. That being said, we've been working on a bit of a budget this month, and it come back from 230 is what we've got left in our budget for the month. So we're still under, and I might be able to pop into the IGA, chase a bit of clearance meat with the kids on Monday. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. However, we do have a couple of cracking treats tonight. Um, it's Friday night here. We, we watch the footy. The kids love it. They look forward to it all week. We do a bit of a tipping in the family. We have a bit of a, uh, a tip each Thursday night. Uh, when I get home from work, uh, I sit with the kids and we, and we go through the footy teams and the tips for the weekend. And we also look forward to our Friday night. It's special for the kids. They get to stay up a little bit later and, uh, and enjoy that. Although at times they're not off about halfway through the first quarter. But I think they just love it and get excited. So anyway, we've got a couple of treats uh, which everyone's excited about. We have got freckles. Uh, used to get them as a kid. Love them. Kids are going to be excited. Got the hundreds and thousands. I think they're on special. Um, Woolworths had some specials this week in relation to chockies and things like that, so um, we jumped on board. I know it's the gestational diabetes thing, but um, we'll have a bit of fun um, Friday night. Next, Kit Kats, delicious. Everyone loves a Kit Kat, take a break sort of thing. Barbecue shapes, um, they're a staple for me. I love them. Ali gets them for me. Um, I really appreciate it, and the kids love them as well can devour a box of shapes without too much trouble, unfortunately. Um, and last but not least, the Cheezels. I think they've just come back. I think they were off the shelves for quite some time um, and they made a bit of a comeback to us. So we've got a few treats tonight. Kids are looking forward to the footy. Everyone's uh, happy here and keen to, keen to get into it. And that's about our grocery haul uh, for this week. So stay tuned. We'll put some more stuff up in relation to our groceries, what we're eating and things like that. Um, going forward, uh, which is going to be terrific. That's kind of where we're at this week. So I um, hope everyone has a good week and uh, I'll see you next time.